An earthquake 2,500 years ago suddenly changed the course of the Ganges River. Could it happen again? A major earthquake that shook southern Asia 2,500 years ago changed the course of the Ganges River, scientists suggest in a new study. The main riverbed in what is now densely populated Bangladesh has changed. The Ganges is one of the largest rivers in the world. Its length is 2,700 kilometers. It flows through India and Bangladesh. At the end of its course, the Ganges joins other rivers, including the Brahmaputra River, creating the world's largest delta, spanning approximately 80,000 km square kilometers. About 156 million people currently live around the river. Rivers can change their course. The cause may be various natural phenomena, including earthquakes. In a new study published in the journal Nature Communications, scientists from the Columbia Climate School at Columbia University determined that an earthquake of an estimated magnitude 7 or 8 that occurred about 2,500 years ago changed the course of the mainstream Ganges, even though the displaced section of the river was over 180 kilometers from the epicenter. The Ganges, like other rivers, undergoes minor or major changes in its course periodically without any assistance from earthquakes. Sediments washed out from the upper reaches settle and accumulate along the river bed until the river bed becomes slightly higher. At some point, the water breaks through and begins to build a new path for itself. However, it usually doesn't happen suddenly. These may be subsequent floods lasting years or decades until the river finds a new bed. But river changes caused by an earthquake can happen instantly. Scientists found the first clues to an ancient change in the Ganges bed in satellite images. In a low-lying area about 1.5 km wide and extending for about 100 km, roughly parallel to the current river bed, they spotted what appeared to be an old riverbed. Nowadays, the area is frequently flooded and used mainly for rice cultivation. In 2018, scientists arrived on site to investigate the intriguing area. They then came across a fresh excavation for a pond, which had not yet been filled with water. On the walls of the trench, they saw vertical columns of sand cutting through horizontal layers of mud, structures called seismites that form when earthquakes shake up layers of sediment. In some areas, quakes can put pressure on buried layers of sand and force them upwards through the overlying mud. Further studies showed that the seismites were oriented in a systematic pattern, suggesting that they all formed at the same time. Using a dating technique that uses light to determine when grains of sand or mud were last exposed to sunlight, scientists have determined that the layers penetrated by the seismites were buried in an earthquake 2,500 years ago. A similar analysis showed that the last sediments deposited in the old Ganges channel were of exactly the same age. Scientists suggest that the landscape was changed by an earthquake of magnitude 7 or 8. As a result of this quake, the Ganges River suddenly changed its course. The earthquake may have been triggered by two separate mechanisms. The first is the seismic activity zone at the foot of the Himalayas, where the Indian plate presses into the Eurasian plate. The second is the subduction zone to the south and east where part of the ocean crust is making its way beneath Bangladesh and Myanmar. A 2016 study shows that these zones are now under increasing stress and could trigger earthquakes with a magnitude comparable to those 2,500 years ago. The last earthquake of this magnitude in this region occurred in 1,762. Earthquakes in Bangladesh are not uncommon. 
The authors of the publication emphasize that if a similar collision occurred today, it would result in millions of victims, considering how many people currently live near the river. In 2008, one of the Ganges tributaries, the Kosi River, changed its course after heavy monsoon rains. This was accompanied by huge floods that killed over 500 people. The Ganges is not the only river carrying such a threat. There are many rivers that flow through seismically active places. This includes, Yellow River, Irrawaddy, or Jordan. The shifting of the Ganges today due to an earthquake could be much worse. A large earthquake itself causes enormous damage. But a large earthquake that suddenly displaces a huge river is even more serious, especially given Bangladesh's population density, says Elizabeth Chamberlain, the study's lead author.